In this video, I'm going to explain a concept that we often come across but is frequently misunderstood, the negative P-E ratio. What does it actually mean and is it a danger or an opportunity? This video will be short and to the point, so make sure to watch until the end. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep seeing lessons like this one. If you're ready, let's get started. Let's begin by quickly recalling what the P-E ratio price to earnings is. This ratio represents the price of a stock divided by the company's earnings per share EPS. If we explain it in formula form, it looks like this. This metric shows how much investors are paying for each dollar of a company's earnings when buying a share. In other words, the P-E ratio tells us how much an investor pays for $1 of annual earnings per share. For example, if the P-E ratio is 20, that means investors are paying $20 for each $1 of the company's yearly earnings because we get 20 by dividing the stock price $20 by the EPS $1. From a simple and logical perspective, we might assume assume that the lower this ratio is, the better it is for investors because they are paying less for the same earnings. But in some cases, we may encounter a negative P-E ratio. So what does that mean and is it abnormal? The clear and simple reason is this. The company isn't making a profit, it's actually operating at a loss. Since EPS is negative, when we divide the stock price by EPS, the resulting P-E is also negative. So, the moment we see a negative P-E, we should immediately understand that the company didn't declare a profit for that period and in instead reported a financial loss. But is this an abnormal situation? No, it's not abnormal, but it can be risky. To determine whether it's risky or not, we need to look at what stage the company is currently in. Let's not forget that this situation is quite normal for young companies in their early years because it typically takes at least a few years for these kinds of businesses to become profitable. Let me show you when a negative P.E. carries risk and when it actually represents an opportunity through real-life examples. Take Tesla, for instance. Between 2010 and 2000. 19, Tesla went through this exact phase. The company had a negative P.E. for a long time because during those years it was heavily investing in R&D and making large capital investments. Investors kept buying Tesla shares despite the negative P.E. because they believed in its future and they won. Similarly, Netflix experienced the same path between 2000 and 2010. It spent billions of dollars building the platform, infrastructure, technology, and hiring talent. Later, when it started producing original content like House of Cards and Stranger Things, its costs increased even more, but the revenue at the time still wasn't enough to cover those expenses. However, investors who remained patient and believed in the company eventually saw the rewards, as Netflix reported real profits a few years later and turned its P.E. positive for the first time. Now, if we want to look at a case where a negative P.E. was actually a risk factor, Bed Bath & Beyond is a perfect example. It used to be a very popular home goods retail chain in the U.S., but over time it fell behind the competition and failed to transition to e-commerce in time. As sales declined and costs remained high, the company started reporting losses year after year, and the P.E. turned negative. Eventually, investors realized that the company wasn't going to grow, in fact, it was headed toward collapse. As a result, in 2022-2023, the company was unable to meet its financial obligations, filed for bankruptcy, and was ultimately delisted from the stock exchange, fading into the dusty pages of history. And that brings us to the end of the video. Finally, I want to mention that if you'd like to get Get up to $30 worth of free crypto or stocks, check out the link I've included in the video description. By signing up on the QuantFury platform through that link, you can buy and sell the stocks of your choice, and QuantFury gives every new user a free gift in the form of crypto or stock. But to receive this gift, make sure to use the invitation code I've shared in the description during registration. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when I post videos about other companies. Take care, and always remember, the $100 you invest today could make your life 100 times better in 10 years.